In this video, I will talk about most awaited function in Power BI or DAX. Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In July 2022 Power BI update, Microsoft added Network Days function in Power BI. Network Days function returns the number of working days between two dates. Parameters specify which and how many days are weekend days and holidays. Here you can see my data table. Imply name, start date and end date. So we need to find out working days between these two date. I have a one more table, holidays, and here you can see my holidays date. So let me go back to imply sheet table. So now let me add a column here and I will use a network days function. So here I will say working days default default week weekend. OK. Network days functions first parameter my start date. OK. So my table name EMP sheet. Start date second parameters in date. EMP table name and in date. And you can see here two more parameter that is weekend and holidays. So as of now, we will not specify weekend and holidays. I will tell you a little later. So if you will not specify weekend by default, it will be Saturday, Sunday. Your weekend is. So five days you can see Monday to Sunday, seven days minus two days, five days. Let me add a one more column. Working days. Days. Weekend. So network days. Same. Parameter start date. Comma. In date. Here we will mention a weekend days. So if I will mention one, so one it indicates Saturday, Sunday is your weekend. OK, so let me mention a one and close. The bracket, so five days, no difference. So if I will mention 11 here as a weekend parameter, so 11 means Sunday is your weekend. And Monday to Saturday is your working days. So you can see the working days is six days. OK, so regarding these parameters, weekend parameter at the end of this video, I will show you the Microsoft documentation so you will find all the parameters and as per your requirement, you can add your parameter. Now let me add a one more column. Working days. Say working days. Here we will say weekend plus holidays. Now again, same function I will use weekend days. My start date. Now my end date. And I will say my what weekend is Saturday, Sunday, so I'll mention one and here the holidays as I showed showed you the holidays calendar. I will mention the table name. Holidays and let me close. So here you can see five five, so Saturday, Sunday, five working days, four working days and three working days. If you can first we will check the four. 
so for for the my like you know for jason 27 june to 3 july okay so let me check holidays so here you can see 28 june is holiday okay so that is the reason 5 minus 1 4 days now let me check the last record 11 july to 17 july so let me go to the 14 and 15 is holiday so it fall between 11 to 17 14 and 15 so 5 minus 2 3 working days now let me show you microsoft documentation for network days function so this is microsoft documentation for network uh, days functions and uh, you will find this link in uh, description box of this video so here you can see the definition of network days functions here syntax network days start date end date weekend and holidays and here you can see the parameter definition so you know start date end date and weekend and here you will find out all the weekend option from 1 to 17 so we have tested 1 and we have tested 11 and the last parameter is holidays so you can see the definition of holidays so and we have also seen the example of holidays return values remarks and some examples that's all for this video i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching